there, welcome to my channel. This is John and you're grilling with Jack, owner of You Don't Know Jack Barbecue, which is located here in the great state of Texas, Jalapeno Poppers. Mm. That even sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. This is an easy recipe. You can follow along with me or you can do them at your house or you can do them at your workplace. But it's an easy recipe, very minimal ingredients, and they're easy to do. It's just in time for the Super Bowl, or you can have them for any occasion. You can have them birthday parties, you can have them even wedding receptions. You can make them as hot or as mild as you like by simply keeping or removing the seeds from the pepper. But keep in mind, you're always going to get that one that's going to sneak up on you. And it's going to bring a tear to your eye. Trust me, I've been making these for years. And let me tell you, my friends, my family, my neighbors, they all love them. They all love them. They all love them. Do you ever have a jalapeno popper or you ever make one that didn't turn out so good? Whether the bacon was burnt or was wrecked too many times, that portions of the bacon didn't get cooked all the way, or that the bacon was cooked and it fell off or fell apart from the popper and all the filling came out of the pepper, it's just uneven cook. Or better yet, you ever have one with a toothpick that got burnt or a toothpick that got broke off inside the pepper? Well, my recipe, I will show you that this will never happen to you again. I promise, if you cook them the way I do, you will never have to worry about that again. So let's get to it, Jack.
Thank you for joining our video. In conclusion, let me go over our steps and what we did today. We went ahead and we diced up about two cups of green onion. We cut in half and split uh, about 10 jalapenos and used about a cup and a half of cream cheese. Uh, about eight sticks of bacon, slices of bacon. And then we just basically mushed everything together in a bowl, got it nice and uh, we brought it all together nice and firm and so we ended up taking the jalapenos, stuffing them, wrap them up with the foil with the bolt that I showed you how to do and then put them on the grill at 250 for about 30 minutes. I did start at 275 but I thought that was going to be a little bit too hot for these things so um, the Traeger grill smokes really hot so I bumped it down to 250 for about 30 minutes. Um, the results are fabulous and I have some taste testers here that are gonna come Hello. and taste. My wife Dina and our good friend LaShonda. <laughs> okay, here you go, Miss LaShonda. Yeah, we can put this right here so you don't burn yourself. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. We can open it up now? Yeah, go ahead and open it up. Oh, it looks good. It'll just be a little secret. So, <laughs> what do you see visually? What does it look like visually? It looks good. It looks I, really good. I like a lot of meat, so this bacon mm -hmm. in here, I can see all the bacon, I can see the green chives in here, so it looks good to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I have to wait any long time? No, it? you need. Okay. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can really taste the bacon. Mm -hmm. Very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's not mm -hmm. too spicy, so. Yeah, it's not spicy. And the good thing about it is these peppers, they're cooked very well. They're not they're not crunchy as you would might typically get like in a blanched um, vegetable. They're very soft, so mm -hmm. you can eat through it. It's mm -hmm. not you don't get that eating the raw um pepper yeah pepper. <laughs> pepper i'm gonna say tomato but it's a pepper <laughs> right very good mm -hmm. so we're lucky we get to eat more right we get to eat the rest yeah awesome <laughs> <laughs> you are you cold <laughs> or are you just say it well that's good i'm glad mm -hmm. you all like them thank you for joining our channel you come back and you come back and see us soon, Jack.